Evening folks, in the truck dairy here, for a wee Friday night special. Now, I made a wee post last night when I got in, and I seen the Electoral Commission's figures on the size of the Alpha Party, and I congratulated them on getting to 7,500 members in two and a half years. Parity with the Liberal Democrats, I actually think it's a fantastic achievement. But that's roughly 3,750 members a year and it'll take them 20 years to become a mass participation party um, that the population will take seriously. Um, now, the reason why I wrote that was because it's a fact. James Kelly of the Alpa Party, the guy who does Scott Goes Pop, has also pointed that out himself. That's a member of the Alpha Party. Anyway, um, I got trounced on that thread. I got tell, I you know best and keep Dane what's Dane. And then I watched um, clips of a Thursday night's question time. And I seen an SMP, MSP say they were going to keep going for Section 30 order. That is the definition of bloody madness. <coughs> now, Humza, Humza in his first meeting with uh, Sunak, asked for th Section 30 order. I don't think he's had an official reply. I don't think Sunak's got any intention of giving him an official reply. I also seen the man who signed the Section 30 order and set the precedent that Scotland needs permission from Westminster to ask this particular question to itself, say that he, the man who created the problem, would do something different. And I have to say that I, I agree. But the man who created the mess, thinking that he's the man who's going to get us out the mess, is also the definition of madness. 50% of the population, like it or no, who are female, 51%, just ain't voting for him. That's in the general population. I don't mean members of his party as, as such. Because he was found guilty in the court of public opinion and that was done by the BBC and the mainstream media. So we now have a situation where I am trying to get a grip of my MSP, who is a cabinet member in Holyrood, and I'm trying to get a grip of the First Minister because I want some clarity here. Because the definition of madness is to keep asking for something you're going to be refused. And the other definition of madness that faces us is the idea that the man who created the problem then goes into this situation and signed away with sovereignty um, to make it the case that we have to ask permission to ask ourselves this particular question from Westminster, telling us that he would uh, do something different. Fair enough. But he ain't getting any power anytime soon. That's just the facts. So I'm trying to get some clarity for a uh, all from my MSP, um, who is Neil Gray and who is a cabinet member. If I can't get any clarity from him, then I'm going to the top of the tree. I'm going to see Humza. Because I want some clarity. I want to know what's going on. And there's a reason for that, folks. I have quite clearly stated, as is David Milligan, my other, my partner in crime, that if the SNP go backwards at this general election, then the independence cause is over in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Now, if Humza and the SNP are waiting a Section 30 order, then I won't see it in my lifetime. Even this carry on about a 55th, uh, a hung parliament doing that road and demanding a section 30 of Labour as part of a supply, and, a, um, a supply and confidence arrangement. Labour's no plain. Labour would rather get into bed with the Tories doing that road. They would, they would rather have a coalition of um, red and blue Tories doing that road than grant a section 30 order. Starmer is a, um, a Tory state plant. He's no left of centre. He's no reverting to being left of centre once he wins over the gammons in England. 
Starmer is the state. The clue's in his name. Sir Keir Starmer. How a knight of the realm made it tap of the Red Tories, I have no idea. Sorry, the Labour Party. They're now the Red Tories. So, folks, as soon as I get some clarity for my MSP, or for whomza, because I'm going to tap the tree, I want to know the answer here. Because I don't have the rest of my life to waste. So I'll let you know how I got on. But as for those that jumped on the thread giving me pelters because I pointed out the obvious, I sincerely do think the Alpa party getting to 7,500 members in two and a half years, I think that's a phenomenal achievement. I remember the SNP as a fringe party. I remember the SNP with a tiny membership, with very few MPs, and no making a breakthrough at all. If it hadn't been for Hollywood, and us winning the social media campaign between 2005 and 2011, then the SNP would still be a fringe party. So the Alpha party are doing really well. Really, really well. But they'll know the answer in the next 20 year. So if the Alpha party will know the answer in the next 20 year, and the SNP are no want to move away from um, a, a Section 30 order, then I'm hanging up my hat and getting on with my life. I've put a quarter of a century into this. I don't have another quarter of a century to spare, folks. So as I say, um, no, Chris, I don't expect you to give up, son. I don't expect you to give up. But I'm 55, I've been at this 25 years. The definition of madness is to continue to do the same thing and expect a different outcome. The other definition of madness is to think that the guy that got us into this position in the first place and who 51% of the population won't vote for is the answer is also madness. So I'm looking for some clarity, folks. And when I get it, I will give it to you guys. All right? Because that will be your on question time. Um, the South of Scotland MSP, she clearly stated that they were looking for a section 30 order. And if she's correct, that rules out a plebiscite Westminster election or even a, a, a looking for a mandate for a plebiscite Scottish election at the Westminster election. That puts these things out the windy. And although that's Mr Salmon's idea and Angus Benjamin McNeil's idea, I've even seen the, uh, Stephen Flynn saying they might even do a conference supply arrangement with, West, uh, with Labour in Westminster even without a Section 30 order. But worried about this, folks. My mate David's calling for an emergency conference. I'm, I'm no bothering with that. I'm going straight to the horse's mouth. Whom's a better gives an answer? He's banging on about independence in the Scottish Parliament all the time. Banging on about it. There's no been a First Minister's went by yet, but there's no banged on about it. Making all the right noises. But I want to know where these noises lead. Because I'm getting weary after 25 years, and last night was quite disheartening. Very disheartening. To watch the lunatic who goes into this situation think that he is actually the answer to the problem. Wow. And to hear the SNP, MSP say that they're going to continue to do the same thing. Now, Nicola Sturgeon asked Theresa May for Section 30. No. She then asked Boris Johnson for Section 30. No. In fact, she asked Theresa May a number of times, actually. She asked a couple of times, actually. And she asked Boris Johnson a few times? No. Whom's has asked? Rishi Sunak on his first meeting. As far as I know, he's not an official reply. Not an official reply. Okay. So as I say, I'm a... Oh, I'd love to bring him on camera. Can't pin them down. So looking for some clarity after last night, folks. But keep your chin up. Even if it's a decade away, 
even if it's 20 years away and I'll no see it. Well, I might be around to see it, but I won't benefit from it. Uh, the kids still want it. I'll just be honing the campaign out of them. I've done my 25 years. But the fight goes on until I have somebody in the SNP tell me that they're not going to try an alternative route. Once they tell me they're not going to try an alternative route, then I've said this before. The SNP's a busted flush. And as Alpha Party's going to take 20, 30 years to get where the SNP is, the new mass participation party here in Scotland, with a new leader, fresh impetus, then they'll know the answer either. So, as I say, I'm looking for clarity for the party, and I'm going looking for clarity for the party. And I won't be giving up until I get clarity for the party. So, as soon as I get clarity for the party, then I'll be telling you guys, and don't worry, I'm no, my chin's no doon. My chin will go doon when I hear it from the horse's mouth, Mr Yusuf, that they're going to continue doing this Section 30 route when we know we're not getting one. Seven years of asking. And I have to agree, it's a definition of madness. But the other definition of madness is to believe that the man that goes into this situation in the first place is going to be the answer. He's no. And as I say, it was genuine. It was genuine when I said well done to the Alpha Party for getting to 7,500 members in two and a half years. Very well done. That's three and a half thousand members a year. To get to 75,000 members or 72,000 members in 20 years, to be a mass participation party with a chance of actually getting out of the line, it's 20 years. My campaign and days are over. But the young, like Chris, then he's there to take up the, ga the gauntlet. He's there to take up the, the gauntlet and carry on the fight. So, as I say, just a wee Friday night special. I'm not that downhearted. I'm a bit downhearted by getting pelters after the Alpa party for congratulating them and pointing out that, hey, that's actually fantastic. And that James Kelly is right, in 20 years' time they will be a mass participation party and something to be reckoned with. But that's 20 years down the road. So, anyway, that's a wee Friday night special. Just to let you know that I intend to bug my MSP, who is a cabinet minister, and I intend to get onto Humza to find out what's actually going on. Okay, so as soon as I hear from my MSP, and I find out what's going on, because he must know he's a cabinet member. He must have an insight in what the First Minister's thinking. And as I say, if it's to continue to ask for Section 30 order, and if they're thinking that um, a Labour will uh, go into a coalition or a conference supply with um, the SNP in Westminster, they're not going to. Starmer would get into bed with Sunak, a four would. Um, get into bed with the SNP. He's made that 100% clear. And we've seen the behaviour of the um, Red Tories here in Scotland. But don't be surprised if there's a hung parliament down that road and there's no enough Lib Dems that soon that doesn't turn to the Conservatives and look for a yay, government, government of national unity. Right, anyway, that's it for the night. It's just a wee broadcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Although it did seem a bit gloomy. <laughs> no, Kirsty, they wouldn't get there quicker. That's a good point. What if the SNP saying uh, now is not the time and all the yesers leave? Go to the upper part if you want. That will be after the next election. That will be after the next election. Will they move to the Alpa Party en masse? Not as long as Mr Salmon's on, uh, in control of the Alpa Party and all. Right way or wrong way, 51% of the population are female. And the majority of them found them guilty in the court of public opinion. So no, they would just revert to Labour. Tory, they would just give up. Simple as that. 
So, <coughs> Paul, if I can get Neil on, if I can get Hooms on, I will. <coughs> Uh, questions need answered, folks, and I want answers. I really do. The noises I see coming out of the SNP, they know are no, are no noises I want to hear. And the noises coming out of the Alper party and, the, and its members, they're bloody irrelevant. And I mean irrelevant. If the SNP um, lose and go backwards at the next election, then the game's a bogey for me. I'm finished. It's up to Chris and the younger ones to take up the baton and build a movement by up again. Maybe even build a party up again. Because that's what they're going to have to do. Because political reality is political reality. And the fact is that as the press go out to destroy the SNP, apart from using the Alpha Party as patsies to do it, you're not getting the Alpha Party the time of day. They're no. The only time the Alpha Party gets an invite anywhere is when they want the Alpha Party to give the SNP pelters. That's just a fact. Um, that is a fact. Gammon News have got them on. Question Time had them on. And it was all... I mean, that Question Time intro, Fiona Bruce should have been sacked for that. For a start, it was factually incorrect that in Scotland is the SNP going to meltdown. News flash, folks! Last poll had the SNP put on two points. Seen Labour lose two points as the people of Scotland look at Starmer as no being an alternative. As the people in Scotland realise that Starmer really is a red Tory. As I say, I'm not that downhearted. I'm expecting he hear something different for a cabinet minister than what I heard for that. A SMP MSP in question time last night. I guess I better get back to work, as you can all see. I'm sat in the cab. Catch you later. Have a nice weekend. We'll get you Monday, two o'clock, two Davies, as usual. Hopefully, I might have heard from the MSP by then. Have a nice day. <laughs>